Hey, good morning, good morning, my people. How you guys been? It's John Lee from 1983, and I'm back with another food review. And I'm not, uh, you know, and I'm not here to play no games today. I'm going back to Chick fil A because I'm hungry, and I gotta get a tattoo. So let's go. I probably should do like a cutscene or something. Oh, I can't even turn, so screw it. I can't do it. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to somebody's house hungry. Who does that? I do. Order Uber Eats. I wonder where I'm gonna go now. Like, you gonna look, but you could have easily scooted over. She's gonna be in this RAV4 and gonna make eye contact with me. I don't need you to make eye contact. What I need you to do is give me the right away. But you did not so graciously give me. And this person has a turn. And then I turn it. I think I'm gonna just start doing um, traffic commentary with John Lee from 1983, formerly AKA Ohio Boy Travels, AKA J. Kemp, AKA got a whole lot of hashtags and uh, uh, ads in his name. Now that car need to pull up so this car can pull up so the other car can pull up, but she's on her phone now. I swear. Full cheese and crackers. JCPS got the buses going. It only took a few weeks, oh, but they got them going. Oh, yeah, they got them going. Oh, yeah, JCPS got the buses going going so the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round and there goes Sawyer on the east end almost moved there to Bansomar but you get a garage and two whole sides to your big old apartment. All right, all right. I'm trying to find the word. You compromise <laughs> the integrity of your work because you don't rush your writing, especially because this is not like an assignment for school. You're trying to share with your community something of value, something that you will learn that has helped you along your way, along your journey. I can tell you. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys in this book is as authentic as I can recall. And if I can't recall it, I sit back, I try to look up some information. Case in point, um, in 2003, LeBron senior year, there was supposed to be a game between, um, and I gotta get. So we in the trenches. Tattoo one is now partially complete. I'm getting ready to do the other part and work on chapter four. And hopefully I can get act one done while I'm getting tattooed today. Straight up.
there's a there's a message on it that popped up. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, what's good? It's like, man, that was a session session. So I just got done with like a seven hour session. I got two new pieces done, but that's not the reason why I'm making this video. I gotta make a video because one thing I learned that I have not been doing a good job of doing and promoting is the artist. So I met Ashley online. She was advertising tattoos. I looked at her work and I liked it. Now, based upon my prior experience with another Louisville artist, I was a little apprehensive. I shared my disposition. I shared what happened. And guess what? We had no problems. I went to the location, pulled up. Man, let me tell you. For a tattoo shop to be in the house, and she did a daggone good job. I mean, the bench has saran wrap, table has saran wrap, needles, ink, everything clean. I was, I was really impressed with what I seen. I said all that to say this: I don't want to just review someone. I want to go ahead and give people the truth truth is I have never had an emotional support partner for a tattoo before but Ashley had faith and faith was there to comfort me whenever I wanted to use an explicit because getting a tattoo on your thigh and calf is cool and it looks dope but trust me it hurt and Faith would sit her tablet down, she would come, she would hug me, and she would lay on top of me and say, it's okay. Now, normally that's not something adults would do and interact with kids, but that's the vibe of the house. And everyone, from the men that were there to the ladies and the newborn and the dog, they all play their part. I said all that to say this. I had a fantastic experience. Ashley thoroughly impressed me and was willing to go above and beyond with the tattoo. I had no idea that she charged me for color in addition to um, the work. And I was like, for you to offer me that tattoo at that price and include um the color to it shout out to you so she made a customer because she understands the game she was trying to take care of me hook me up make sure i look fly now now hook up as in giving me a a discount because i never asked for that some people need to get out the habit of always looking for a hookup when you got a friend that's working as a independent contractor. You shouldn't ask for hookups. You shouldn't be coming to them because they have the best price. You should go to them because you want to support them. But that's just my take. Needless to say, I will be back. And I will show you guys my tattoo in just a little bit. First off, I gotta go get me some food because I haven't eaten all day. And then after that, I edit the video. But as always, make sure you like, follow, subscribe. And say my favorite word. S-K-R-A-I-T-U-P. Straight up.